And we have no more old people in this country. No more old people. We shipped them all away. And we brought in these senior citizens. Isn't that a typically American 20th century phrase? Bloodless, lifeless. No pulse in one of them. A senior citizen. But I've accepted that one. I've come to terms with it. I know it's here to stay. We'll never get rid of it. That's what they're going to be called. So I'll relax on that. But the one I do resist, the one I keep resisting, is when they look at an old guy and they'll say, Look at him, Dan. He's 90 years young. <laughs> Imagine the fear of aging that reveals. To not even be able to use the word old to describe someone. To have to use an antonym. And fear of aging is natural, it's universal, isn't it? We all have that. No one wants to get old, no one wants to die, but we do. So we bullshit ourselves. <laughs> I started bullshitting myself when I got to my 40s. As soon as I was in my 40s, I'd look in the mirror and I'd say, Well, I, I guess I'm getting older. <laughs> older sounds a little better than old, doesn't it? Sounds like it might even last a little longer. Bullshit, I'm getting old. And it's okay, because thanks to our fear of death in this country, I won't have to die. I'll pass away. <laughs> or I'll expire like a magazine subscription. <laughs> if it happens in the hospital, they'll call it a terminal episode. The insurance company will refer to it as negative patient care outcome. And if it's the result of malpractice, they'll say it was a therapeutic misadventure. I'm telling you, some of this language makes me want to vomit. Well, maybe not vomit. Makes me want to engage in an involuntary personal protein spill.